What's happening, beautiful gamers? Blank here, and welcome back to another episode of Enotra. Right where we left off, I actually had to kill the guy because he came away. I think you guys saw it when the previous episode was finishing. But there are things to do. We saw this red thing over here, which could be something awesome. We got something called the Wheel of Fortune. Carp Venture. Now, there are things that... Ooh, what do you mean talk? The sun shifts, but nothing happens. What? Oh god, no. I'm gonna take a... I'm gonna take a photo of it. This is so... <laughs> that is more secrets. Oh god. Maybe that thing that says Crab Venture. Something. But we have found like things like this. Know what I'm saying? It's no. Uh, fan letter about the monastery of this. Two prodigious performers. Born at the same time and always compared with each other. It's kind of weird because you cannot really do much with it. But then... I think we got this one. Uh, Spavetti soldiers heartbroken account of the experiments done in attempt to weaponize the very fauna of Falestia against their enemies. So I, I'm not sure. Like discovering those side quests, like those are definitely side stuff that we have to be figuring out. And I, those things are normally too big brain for me, bro. So I'm not sure if that's gonna work out in our way or not, but maybe it will. Let's proceed a little bit more. Necropolis. I don't feel like I belong in here, but we'll see. It was a perfect... Oh my god. Why is it always like that? So I guess in the previous episode, we actually stopped at a really perfect point. Because there is a save right here. It's not bad. It makes me feel bad whenever there is not actually something. But I'm going to have to go back. Okay. Because if I go back to the fast travel, the enemy that we found right now. Wait. Where, where, where am I? Oh, right. You cannot... Gotcha. It's because... Yeah. The enemy that we just fought was fire. Which means that we need Grasha to defeat him. But then... These enemies over there are actually... I believe they're actually... Malamo. So this should do the work. Although, as of right now, I'm just playing with this weapon because why not... You kidding me? At least, yeah, I guess, I guess pairing the attacks is kind of like the way to go here, right? Just go up, kill them, and let's keep moving. Let's see if the game actually lets me proceed. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. You never. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna have to explore that, yeah? Oh no, look at that. You cannot go from here. So there's gonna be more. Hmm. We definitely wanna go up, but not yet. I have a bad feeling about this place. Okay, nothing happens. Definitely want to go down, considering that going straight is right next to the save, so we don't care. Wait. But then... What's the point? Wait, 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 what's the point? Because I am almost sure that's there. Or is it? No. no. I'm not gonna do that. Not with 25,000, but... Do I have to, like, go back here at some point? Maybe. Because if I take a look at the shipwreck... If there was a shiny over there or something, it would be really tempting for me to jump. But you do not know that, so... It's kind of strange, right? I... I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I think killing those enemies. Oh, fuck this. Ah. Uh, I don't want to do this. Oh, wow. Are we doing this? Don't say I don't love you guys. Ah, 
I have no idea how much did I lose, but if the water bug is still happening, then we definitely lost a lot. <laughs> Anyways, let's go for them. Fortunately for us, actually breaking them is kind of cool. All of these guys are actually causing malamo, so makes life a little bit easier. But every single range enemy is super weak to parry, so yeah. You know, I'm gonna be honest, I really didn't wanna jump. But the game found a way to make me wanna jump, which is by showing me that shiny. And then what happened with my gold? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Thank you. I recovered it, so I'm good. I'm good. And we did the testing, so that means that now you guys can see what happened. Like, don't try to jump. That's my suggestion. <laughs> okay, anything? No. By the way, the games have been so far pretty incredible. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I do think that the level up is maybe a little bit too fast, but who knows? I mean, we're gonna have to keep playing to, to keep figuring things out, but the game has been a lot of fun. And there is another save in there. What is that? Valencia Magma, new place. And there is like teleporters in there. Yep. I think I do have to improve some of my powers, but I think I can sort this out by like all this. Yeah, that makes my life easier. What the fuck are those twice? The fuck? The rambling damage of this weapon is hot garbage. So this weapon should be like kind of like focused on like causing DZ. I don't know if I'm a huge fan. But. This thing over here though. This thing over here though. The adore damage that it causes. Holy. I could use the colossal flamber, but this one causes fatuo. Not really. You know what? Let's just go for the great blade. Of the doom. Couple of levels shouldn't be too bad. There it is. That should be enough. Yep. Also, let's get a level and it should it should show us how much power this weapon has. It's probably not gonna be that much. But I got a feeling that I don't know if I wanna come to this area just yet. I want another pro in Battle Mage. Now we're done with Battle Mage. I want to keep investing stuff into Assassin and Elementalist. I want to fast travel. I want to take a look at where are we at. So Necropolis is right there. I'm going to go to Necropolis. I want to explore the, the, the beach area. This is a whole own like ruins that we have to take a look into. So I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but yeah. Let's see. Let's see the actual enemies because that one over there. He was doing fire damage, and I wasn't liking that. That's why kind of like we changed the place. But um, yeah, so you see what I mean? It's like this place is 300 damage. Wow, not that big of a difference. Fruits of failure. Sounds like my life. What? <laughs> not really, but that, that was. I just felt like it was a good opportunity. <laughs> To say something like that. <laughs> yeah, enemies in here are definitely Fatuo. We're not dealing with Fatuo. We want to go inside. We're going to do the ruins. Because in the ruins, we know that enemies will not be Fatuo. Enemies will probably be Malamo. You better be Malamo, you son of a truck. Hall of the Great Statue. That sounds menacing. Yeah, great statue. Doesn't sound menacing at all, huh? Not gonna go down just yet. Hmm. Enemies seem to be a little bit creepy. I could jump down. Oh, so I... I could trigger the bridge or I could go this way. And what happens if I... Who are you? Massless. There is a tank within this some bleached land. What does that even mean? I must find him before. How steady my hand used to be in the heart of the battle. 
How it shakes from the unknown. Oh, Gusto, you sentimental fool. Now, to get to the city properly, I must find him before. Okay. So, he's not saying anything important, but this one is, yeah. How did this little thing actually betray me? It's honestly. Can I kill you? No. Is Custo the same? Mm, I'm gonna have to rewatch that video. Because if they're different guys, then. Yeah, that's cool, but then. Ooh, what if they are actually different guys? It wouldn't hurt us to check, would it? But then we will have to, like, go. My memory is short, but my videos are not. So the the name of the guy is Custod, so we're talking about the same guy. He's still looking. This is the shortcut. Okay. I guess it's time for us to actually start exploring. I could go over there and start checking. What do you do? What like where do you take me? Oh, it changes the statue. But is that like a permanent change or is that like a momentary change? I don't know, we have things to explore, so let's start walking around. Hey buddy, come here. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, okay, it's stuck. Oh my god. Are you freaking... Die! Wait, can you actually jump in there? Oh yeah, that thing's still moving. Huh. Huh. That's definitely death. Like, if you cannot clearly see that you can clearly walk on it, then it's definitely death. So don't, don't try it. But from the other side. Give me the valuable shells. Oh, no. Ah. Gotta be careful with the things that I do. Another shortcut from the other side. This is kind of strange. Then we triggered that thing over there, but this thing hasn't really changed. My question is, if I rest, would that thing change again? Feels like the answer is yes, but you can never be sure. Wow. No! Okay, if I'm gonna give them feedback, those guys are a little bit too noisy. Like, the fact that they triggered are really, really noisy. Uh, I could go there. Do I wanna go there? This sounds like a terrible idea, but I freaking wanna do it. Oh, but I think you can go from the other end. Because I know that that's from the door. <laughs> but I really want to try. Do you guys think that we're going to end up locking? We don't, we don't have that many essences, so we can actually do it. Do you guys think that we're going to end up like soft locking ourselves if we try to do that? Maybe that's something that we're supposed to do later. Or maybe it's something that we're actually supposed to do right now. I do not know. If I make that jump, it should be... Ooh, I think you can like... Yeah, so everything that we're getting here is Malamo. Like, you see that the, the name of the powers and everything, definitely Malamo. So I do, I'm gonna have to change my powers to fit a little bit better to everything that's going on. Wow. 
So once you finish your song, what does that even do? I have no idea, but there's like a big ass door here. And I'm pretty sure from here, maybe that thing opens. Yep. So you were actually meant to like do that little jump. Awesome. And then those guys are dead tail. Okay. We didn't do that just for a power, yes? Oh. I. Oh, wait, there's an elite. Okay. Shortcut for later? Yeah. Wait. So we did cheesy. We were not supposed to come down here. It would have been awesome if it would have given me something cool for like actually going a different path to get it. But it did not, so it is what it is. I could jump. Yes. Two enemies. One of them is dead. Both of them are down now. Okay, can I jump in here? Yes, I can. A little bit strange, but you can. Definitely want to check that out. There's things in there that we haven't seen. From that arm, I feel like I feel like we went one way. Was that the actual path that we needed to follow? Wasn't there like a different path that you could have followed? I hadn't gone. Oh no, so that's okay. So that was progress. I hate it. I hate it when I think that I'm actually doing something cool and the game is like, oh, not really. You're actually doing what you're intended to do. <laughs> uh, whatever. That one is. Okay. Nothing. I was just very fine. I was just very fine. I will give them credit for something. The, the amount of like little things sneaking here and there on this game is pretty impressive. Are you an idiot? Like, just standing there waving his flag and thinking that he's too cool. Cannot do anything in here. Whoever is shooting things at me, I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna mess up your life. Patuo. There it is. I'm sorry, Malamo. That's what I tried. I had he been Fatuo, I would have tried to change weapons to uh, Grazia, but yeah. Okay, nothing, nothing. No, ho, ho, ho. You wanna go, baby? No, they're freaking traps. You kidding me? You kidding me? Yeah, the damage that this weapon deals is nowhere near the damage that the big boy deals whenever you're using the brakes. Definitely somewhere where we wanna go. The freak one was night. That noise, so strange. Have we been there before? There is like a lad. We haven't been there. I know where that is. I think. 
because we're close to this area. I want the shortcut first. I'm not gonna jump down just yet. I could even jump in there. Fuck. But then after all this work, I really wanna. Mm. I'm almost sure. No, there's nothing. What a strange place. I do have to level up those linens, though. Oh, this is the shortcut. There it is. So now from here we can actually go back and forth easily because we triggered that door. One thing that I noticed is also, you guys remember how in Souls games you could press the elevator and then jump outside of the elevator? Certain areas you cannot really do that in here, like it's too fast for you to do it. So it kind of like forces you into like a walk of shame every single time. Not the biggest fan of it, but... Just wanted to point that out. Something that the game does, which is strange, but sure. We're gonna have two enemies to defeat to the left. So if you guys take a look at it, oh, I see it. Yeah. yeah, 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 it makes sense. So I was wondering what was that line. You guys see it over there? It kind of like triggered again because we crossed the path. So now the statue goes back to normal. Wait, but then there's something else that we didn't explore just yet that I want to explore. So I see I'm not done with this area. Wait, 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 no, 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 I did. Fudge. I did finish this. Damn it. so weird on my end like the fact that i ended up going down and i forgot I, I totally forgot that we came here through the path that i thought that we hadn't investigated weird wait but there is no real way here is there do we have to go over there yeah wait, wait you're not freaking around Okay. It's a good thing that at the very least your movements are really predictable. So now we go through the other side of the statue. Who the freak is shooting things at me from where? Ow. Oh, from there. Wow. Some of those guys have arms. Jesus, they're good. Yeah, so the guy that was messing me around was over there. So, okay, we're fine. There is so many chests. Listen, I need a shortcut already. <laughs> like a real shortcut. Like from here to there. Anyways, one of them goes down. That's what I mean when this area, what I was talking about. Because once we start doing the other area, the necropolis, we're going to have to bring the... There has to be a safe or something in here. <sighs> oh, fuck you! Are you kidding me?
you want to fight yep that thing decided to go one on one to see who has the most durability between him and i obviously i win we did that we did everything over there we haven't gone through the very very top so we're gonna like stuck gonna go down before doing that guy you don't want to deal with that guy just yet pretty sure there's more to explore and you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> there is not only more to explore. Wait, what? What? Was this here the whole time? No, right? This is like the perfect shortcut. It's like, oh yeah, you need a shortcut? No problems. Can I level up my weapon one more point? Yes. There it is. And now we don't have money. Anyways, right here is where we're actually going to be wrapping things up for the day. That was kind of interesting. Next episode, we're going to have to go up and tackle that boss. But it's going to be cool. Sometimes you have boss fights, sometimes you do not. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Much love to y'all. And I'll see you guys in the next one.